My one pound combat robot Cheesecake is new and improved and ready to fight. This time around, I moved the wheels forward just a bit, I made the frame thicker where it supports my weapon, I made a custom washer to keep my weapon from flying off its motor, and I got some new weapon bars made from A2 tool steel, hardened to 56 to 60 HRC. My hope was that this new material would be able to bite into opponents who use AR-500 forks and armor. Let's see how things went. My first fight was against Dulce de Lucha, the same robot who knocked me out of my last tournament. That didn't go so well. I was hoping that my new tool steel weapon would be able to bite into his titanium wedge, but even with a direct hit, the angle was just too shallow and I glanced off of him. And my weapon motor broke. And I got stuck on my side. Yeah, that didn't go so well. Now fighting in the loser's bracket, my next fight was against Robo Mouse, who was using AR-500 forks. But I wasn't afraid, I have my tool steel spinner! Bring it on. Fight, robots, fight! one by judge's decision. Is eliminated. All right, that was more difficult than I expected. The good news is, I knocked him out, and my spinner did not dull or deform when it collided with his AR-500 forks. In fact, it took some pretty good bites out of them. The bad news is, my weapon shattered halfway through the fight, cracking in three places, but miraculously staying in one piece. I guess that's what I get for going up to 60 on the Rockwell C scale. My next fight was against Nomad, the winner of the last tournament I attended. Nomad is a vertical spinner with a floor scraping wedge, and his robot's description is Meta Go Brrrr, which is pretty great. Now, even though I knew that my tool steel weapons were probably a bust, I wanted to try them one more time to get more data. Let's see what happens this time. Fight! Whoa! 
whoa, guys, there are kids here. You can't just spark up. My weapon shattered in that impact. I still only had one wheel at this point, but my weapon was jiggling my robot enough that I could control where it was going. Still going. One minute remaining. Just letting you know, Cheesecake, the stage is not your enemy. Are you sure? It's putting up a pretty good fight. I won the judge's decision, probably because I stayed aggressive and my drive miraculously returned at the end of the fight. That being said, my shattered weapon nearly did me in, and the fact that I lost one of my drive motors simply because of the recoil of my weapon is very concerning. I need to create some sort of cushion between my tires and my drive motors so all that shock isn't going into the motors. My next fight was against Toothache, the same robot I lost against twice in my last tournament. For this fight, I switched back to my AR500 spinner because I was satisfied that the tool steel was a bust. Go. Also, did they pick a winner of Spun Flower and Trash Panda, or is that just not updating for me? Okay, Trash Panda won. Winner of this face is Trash Panda. Cheesecake's like, I'm running circles around you.
temperature dropped from like 60 to 40 like it saw a state trooper. I lost the judge's decision, probably because I spent most of the fight crab walking while Toothache kept driving normally. If I had been driving normally for the entire fight, I think I could have won based on my aggression and the control of knocking him around. I'm definitely realizing that I need to protect my drive motors better. I'm also realizing that I don't actually need to disable my opponent at all. If my opponent is a brick who cannot be damaged, and if he has no active weapon to damage me, then I can win the fight by spinning my weapon slower and avoiding damaging myself, but still knocking him around to show aggression and control. This will probably need to be my strategy as I fight more wedge bots. With that final fight, Cheesecake was knocked out of the tournament, taking 5th place overall. I'm not too happy with this result, but I learned a lot about my robot, and I successfully fixed the issues from my last tournament. My weapon didn't fly off, and my frame didn't crack. All I need to do now is protect my drive motors from the shock of my own hits, and dial back the hardness of my weapon bar. And you know, that's really what this sport is all about. Solving strange puzzles, and pushing the limits of your creativity. And breaking other people's toys. <laughs>